So what do you do on a cold, rainy, ugly day in Munich, Germany? Let's find out. If you are an American in the living room, what are you in the bathroom? American in the living room? <laughs> no. No, you cannot post that. Brazilian. Why a Brazilian? Because of Brazilian wax? No. It's something that you are. Okay. If you're an American in the living room, you are a European in the bathroom. <laughs> kind of funny. Okay, so the next one. What kind of tea do football players drink? This is actually really easy. Gold tea. Gold tea. No, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. A penalty. <laughs> Who is your source? That's so bad. My source is Google. This morning, both of us woke up craving Indian food and not just any Indian food. So the story is that <laughs> about four weeks ago, we came to Munich to celebrate a friend's birthday. We were sitting at a cafe where her husband works and we basically got hammered. So then we were really hungry and someone at the table recommended an Indian place, which is next to Victualien Markt. We have no recollection of what the name was, where exactly it's located. We just know the vicinity of it. So today's agenda is to hunt for this place, get the Indian food because it was literally the most delicious Indian food I've had outside of the house. Because typically, because I'm Indian, I absolutely do not like going to Indian restaurants. Anywhere outside of India, I find it very difficult to eat at Indian restaurants because I think the food is just terrible but that was really good like really 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 good we're gonna pick it up take it home and we're gonna make a little day out of it because this day was completely unplanned we just woke up we were like we're hungry let's go and hunt for this place and walk around my favorite place in munich which is victualien markt it's gross but you know what i still love munich i think it's a really cool city in its own way we are here now in munich and hunt for our indian place we made a little pit stop look at how beautiful this place is christmas is around the corner this restaurant is called zoom altenmarkt and it's right next to victualien Markt in a little hidden alcove it's an 18th century building and they serve Bavarian food with a modern twist. This was our first time there. We started with a glass of wine and beer. Stefan had a veal cutlet and I had a vegetarian dish, not on the menu, so I can't remember what it was called, but it was delicious. Mm, good. This is so good. I have no idea what I'm eating as a vegetarian, but it's really good. There's nothing I've had before. It's absolutely delicious after having lunch we walked through and around victualien mark looking for the indian restaurant it was raining but honestly it didn't faze me because i just love being here any chance that i get we kind of lost track because of all the beautiful stands that are around victualien mark we got sidetracked and decided to buy some bread for the evening we bought a baguette at one of the bread stands we got the bread we still can't find the Indian restaurant. <laughs> really? <laughs> and now we're gonna find some cheese and then continue looking for the Indian restaurant. Honestly, one of the best things about this market is amount of variety they have for cheese. We went to three different stands and finally decided on this one. They had the best selection. We bought a bunch of cheese and we also bought my favorite Bavarian thing. Obatsa. So we are backtracking to the place where we were before and I think we're on to something now. Let me just follow this now. I think I remember this way now. <laughs> we are getting close. I think this is the street, no? After hunting for the restaurant, we finally found it. Madam Chutney. 
hands down, this is the best Indian restaurant in Munich. What mission accomplished? We have our Indian food. After a successful mission accomplished, we decided to take some time and walk over to Maroon Platz before heading on back home. They're already setting up for Christmas, which is really kind of nice. This is our, for the Christmas market. I say that was a very successful day. We accomplished our mission. We went to Munich. We found the restaurant that we were looking for. We backtracked and somehow we actually ended up finding it without knowing the name, without knowing the address, just a hunch and it worked. So anyways, we came home, we warmed it up and it was so freaking good. Hands down, this is the best Indian restaurant that I've come across so far in Germany. So if you are in Munich, then give Madame Chutney a try. You will not regret it. It is so, so good. We came home, we warmed up tala chicken, and we warmed up the rice, and we made fresh Indian flatbread, which is a paranta, and it was divine. The best way, the best way to have Indian food is with a little bit of raw onion on the side and a fresh green chili if you like the spice and if you can handle the spice. It's not spicy. It's not spicy. And I got extra spicy. Ah! And fresh cilantro. This will blow it out of the water. If you like Indian food, then add these three things. I am telling you, you will not regret it. This is how traditionally Punjabi food especially is eaten. And the only way to eat Indian food in all of its authenticity is actually with your hands. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in the next video.